morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. We are going to have a rollback. Yes. Reason being is because I did come back to the model table yesterday afternoon and evening. I guess basically evening. I think if I remember right, I started around 6.30 and quit around 8.30. And uh, we got a little bit accomplished here, and I ran into a real problem. And uh, there's a problem that uh, I think one of the viewers alerted me to, oh, way back about a month ago when I was placing pipes around the uh, uh, torpedo tubes. Uh, <laughs> but we overcame it, sort of. Now, today, what do we want to do? Well, uh, last night, uh, <clears throat> The, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Chris's wire came. And, uh, uh, I haven't opened the box yet. I'm, I'm really hoping it's not going to be too heavy. Because, uh, you sure don't need light, heavy wire for, to operate little LEDs. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, I got a feeling it's going to be a lot better than, than this stuff here. Uh, at least that's my hope. We'll soon know because we're going to be working with it all being well today. Today what I want to do, all being well, is get these remaining pieces on. Uh, yeah, this should go on here good now. You can see exactly where it goes. Oh, it goes the other way. Sorry. Yeah. Alright. Well, we'll, we'll move in and, and uh, we'll do all that later. Uh, they, they should go on pretty good. I don't see any problems uh, that are going to happen with, with this, with, with doing that. Uh, and I think I mentioned that the LEDs, I'm not going to glue them in. I'm just going to use a pressure fit. And we'll be putting them in. The, they will be the last thing to go in after I get the wires uh, wire soldered on to the leads. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to not make a whole lot of sense here. <laughs> Uh, our, uh, our walkers came by this, this morning at about 7.37 and, uh, very foggy. It's still very foggy. Uh, once again, we are not going to have a pretty sunrise. Uh, <clears throat> let's, let's sort of recompose here and, uh, take a look at our wire. Um, yeah. Correction. Let's roll back. What's the matter with me? <laughs> I'm guessing about six hours has passed since uh, we glued our torpedo up and I think that in all likelihood the connections are about as strong as they're going to get. It might be a little stronger if I left it till the morning but I, I think that our uh, quick sitting here has done its melding thing uh, I just put in a new hobby knife blade here and my thinking is that in that way when I try to cut these flush uh, there's, I'll be putting less stress on on everything because the blade will cut instead of push. <laughs> At least that's the plan. So we'll we'll try and cut these these threads off as close as we can without you know having to retie everything. <laughs> And uh, then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 335, which I believe is what we painted this this uh, carriage thing, and we'll sort of just touch up in different places, like where the uh, where the CA glue kind of ran. And I was saying, we, I hope we're not going to get any glinting. Um, and also, I want to see if I can't maybe paint the threads so that they'll sort of blend in with everything else. Uh, now, in order to see this this thing. You have to remember that this whole thing is going to be like this. And to, to see it, you're going to have to look up at an angle. So, um, but maybe somebody will do that. I, I think when I mount this on the wall, I'm going to have it, I'm going to want to have it fairly high up so that when you're standing in front of it, you're basically just sort of looking straight in on everything. You're not, you're not looking down. At least, I, I think that would probably be the best. Um, in other words, the ship will probably be about five and a half feet above the floor. Uh, don't ask me how many millimeters that is. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's just uh, recompose here 
and, and see if we can't just carefully cut these threads. Maybe, maybe I'll stick the macro lens on and we'll, yeah, we'll get in nice and close here, or closer anyway. Okay, I know that a person's thinking is I'll try and get as close as I can and then what happens is you end up cutting something you actually shouldn't. Now this is going to be a, a little bit hard because it's got CA glue permeated on it. Okay, we got that one. Whoops. Hope I'm not getting my, my finger in front of the... I can't get good leverage here on the... How could something so simple get complicated? There we go. We got it. Okay, let's uh, let's do the other one. You know what? I think if I'm smart, I'm going to check and make sure that we're in focus here. Yeah, sometimes I'll try something like that, and then afterwards I'll find out that I, I, my focusing was way off, and I think to myself, all I had to do was just take out a minute and. Okay, got that one. And... That one. Now this one's kind of glued, it glued itself on there, isn't it? Where do we get that off? Oh my. I might have to do this off camera. Or maybe not. Ooh. I'm going to have to uh, hold against myself here. That is on there. Okay, I'm going to have to do it off camera, sorry. Or once again, maybe not. I had a similar situation on the other one and I found that by taking the line and just pulling it back, sort of peeling it off seemed to work. So I'm just going to try that here. Okay. There we go. Okay, I, I just realized that I'd painted this up like you see me doing right now. And I was talking to myself because I didn't press record. Must be tired. And uh, I was saying that we are painting the side that is not going to be seen. We should really turn this thing over. So let's put the other lens on and, uh, and, and turn it over. It would be interesting to see what happens when we take the blocks out from underneath the torpedo and, and the, all the weight is going to be supported, you might say, laterally on, the, on those brackets. I looked in the monitor a few minutes ago and I was realizing that I got the darker gray on the top of the overhead bulkhead. Okay, now it should it should be alright. It should be alright. In fact it, it should be fairly strong. I I I don't think we're gonna want to be able to you know drop it in, in, in this direction because it'll it could snap off somewhere. Okay, now how straight is it? It's it's believable. So when it is hanging down, we are going to be viewing it from from this side here. So this 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 side here that I want to get the yeah, there's a little bit of glinting going on there. Now there there is going to be a, a, a an LED coming through right here, and it's going to be illuminating illuminating this whole area quite brightly. So, um, 
what would be the best way to do this now? Maybe put it upside down like this and, yeah, put it down like this and then just sort of come in from this side here with my little paintbrush. And and then we're ready to put this piece down. I don't think there's anything else to put on it. I, I want to do the LEDs last. Okay, that, that's going to have to do. We are going to do a bit of a dry fit here. Okay, this uh, this slot goes onto this this tongue right here, and uh, these two tongues go into these two slots over here. Now we've already done this once before, but not with the torpedoes hanging down. So it, it looks like the torpedo is going to be clear of everything, except maybe this door. I'm just going to have to go a little bit careful there. Okay, that's kind of in. You know, I just realized that if I was to turn this up on its end, it might be a lot easier to do. It means I'm going to have to recompose the camera later, but that's all right. That's not, as I often say, rocket science. Okay, so then, yeah, th this will work better. Just let me re recompose here a little bit. Okay, I think everything's about as good as we can get it here. We'll stop the lens down and sharpen up the depth of field. Now, once again, maybe I'll come in around from the other side here, being very careful not to put any stress on our torpedo. And there's nothing on the back here that I can break off by holding on to the back. Um, hmm. Can you still see it? Yeah, you can. Kind of feels like it's going up against something. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, here is a problem. Seems to me uh, we talked about this right in here. It's not, we got some pipe work that's bumping up against the top of the, oh my, oh my. Okay, I'm gonna have to push stop here. If we take this little block of wood out from under here, then the torpedoes, the back of the torpedoes will drop down and will sort of allow this piece to, to go down, but not enough. And then the torpedoes are going to be out of line for the main part of the hull. <clears throat> so now what's happening here, see if I can turn this so you can see it. Okay, right up in here. See if I can if I can point to it here. Yeah, right, right here. We got a pipe that that is holding the this thing from going further in. Um, now the the other thing we could do, being is that. It's not really what what's up there is not being seen anyway. I don't know what we can do here. 
Let me just just let me remove this very carefully here now. Okay, keep in mind, Ron, there, there your torpedo is hanging onto that thing. So, okay, now I wonder if there's any way I can cut this down without breaking it off. It, it, it's probably got the same problem on the, on the other side as well, because these 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 are equal height. So these are the things that are up against the, the upper super, upper uh, upper uh, bulkhead, overhead bulkhead. Uh, I'd, I'd like to try and keep this pipe, but do we really need this this other piece here? I, I don't think so. Uh, it's too bad I went to so much work to try and get it on and everything, and um, yeah. Okay, um, I'll think of something here. Okay, I got the two tabs that are in the the aft bulkhead in place. And uh, everything is adjusted here. It looks like this is the way it's going to go. And I, it, it really pained me to have to sort of nip those pieces off using the uh, Tamiya cutters and then I did I did repaint it although I don't don't know why because it can't be seen anyway um, that was too bad uh, obviously I put something here a little bit too high up now we may have a problem when it comes to putting the the uh, the other pieces in we might have a problem with stuff catching here and one of the viewers drew that to my attention but as near as I can see here this this all goes together good now I'm just holding it with my thumb um, I, I think we can probably go ahead and just glue everything there yeah I'm, I'm just gonna do that it, it almost wants to stay there by itself. It's a, it's a pretty good fit. Uh, it could be at this point it might do better to let gravity be our friend and, and just have everything in the horizontal. Yeah, I'm just going to recompose here. Now this is the uh, this is not the extra thin. This is the slow drying stuff. So I I do have a certain amount of time to to work with this here. Okay, I don't th think I need to put any on here, maybe just, just a little bit, just to play it safe. Just in case there's somewhere that's not going to get it. Alright, here we go. This is going to be it. Yeah, this this did sort of snap into place before. Well, I guess I guess it just sort of mooshed into place. It's it's right down, nice and flush. Okay, I'm gonna, I've already pre-adjusted this clamp, so I'm just gonna 
just a little bit here, not not real tight. Being careful not to break that rod on the bottom. Okay, that's that's going to be good. Let's just let that dry overnight. Yeah, that's that's going to be a nice tight bond. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking maybe I'd put some of the other pieces on it yet this evening, but uh, uh, I think we should let this dry. So uh, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, it is morning. And I think we can probably safely take this one off now. However, I think I'll leave the large one on to hold this basically, get this off, and hold it basically uh, straight up and down, like that, so we can drop these other parts down and let gravity be our friend. Um, but we were going to have a box opening, weren't we, and take a look at Chris's wire, so uh, let's, let's do that. I'm kind of anxious to see how it is. Um, yeah. Okay, I have wet my whistle. And I think I can probably say a few sentences now without coughing. Um, let's do this thing. <laughs> little tiny box inside a big box. Remember when you were a kid, sometimes uh, for your birthday or maybe for uh, at Christmas time? Let me get rid of this. Okay, what would happen is uh, so someone would give you a gift and it would be a small thing like this and it would be inside a, a great big box and you'd open that box up and then there'd be a smaller box and a smaller... Finally, you get to your gift. <laughs> I think we've all experienced that. Okay. See what we've got here. Now, this, this stuff was kind of expensive, so I hope it's going to be all right. I hope it's going to be all right. Okay, we are too far away to actually be able to see it. So we will maybe even put on the macro lens. We'll see what happens here. I don't think I've ever seen wrapping quite like this. This is... Oh, I see. There's a little elastic band around there. All right. Okay, I'll, maybe I'll save that. I might be able to use that for something. My experience with the kind of rubber bands you get at the dollar store is that they dry out real fast, and at least some of them do. That looks like it might be all right. It's... Okay, like I say, let's let's uh, recompose here and get in so that you can actually see this stuff. Okay, if I turn this thing so I can read it here, I'm noticing that this can also be had in, like this is this is the 28 gauge, but it can also go down to or up to 38 gauge, which might have been actually better. As long as it wasn't so fragile that it was easily broken. Yeah, a person wouldn't want to be assembling a, a module and uh, placing a module in the hull, and then suddenly you find you've broken your wire off and have to take everything apart and solder it back on somehow. Okay, so uh, what do we got going here? All right, I think I finally got it. And the end of the wire should be right there. No, you know what? This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Thanks, Chris, for recommending this stuff. You know, I, I did know about it, but I, I didn't know that it could be ordered on Amazon. Now, I don't want this to get tangled up like a, uh, a level cast 
fishing reel. Do you ever have a bird's nest in one of those things? Boy, I can remember having bird's nests in those things. Then I finally started using spin casts. Yeah. Done a lot of fun things in my life. Fishing, hunting. I kind of feel bad about the hunting, though. You know, shooting a deer or a moose or something like that that's struggled hard to survive all winter. And then what, what happens? Some human comes along and shoots it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to start crying here. <laughs> no, not really, but uh, that's sort of the way I feel about big game hunting. Uh, fishing, I don't know. I, I kind of look at that differently because... Uh, we do eat the fish. Mind you, eat the moose, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this, this is going to be good. Let's uh, uh, let's get our little plastic parts glued on the uh, top of the module here, and uh, then maybe we can try soldering uh, some of this on here. Chris was saying that the easiest way to get the jacket off of this is to, to just sort of scrape it off with, with uh, sandpaper or or emery cloth or something like that. So anyway, enough. Uh, maybe I'll, I can use this to. Yeah, I can use this to hold it uh, together. Maybe. Yeah, keep it from unraveling. Okay, that's it. That's our wire. That's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using a lot of that because if I have about oh, I'm guessing uh, 24 inch leads at least. Uh, on each one. And how many feet is there in this thing? It, it doesn't say, but I, I think there's lots. Going by the weight of it, there's a lot in there. Okay, they say that confession is good for the soul. I wonder who wrote that. Probably the people that are making money from hearing confessions. Okay, my confession is that I fell off the wagon real bad yesterday. I had a total of 3,501 calories. Yep. So uh, I probably set myself back about, I was going to say a week, but I don't think it would be that bad, because I can probably make up for it here. Okay, yep, there's always another day, right? What's the, yesterday was the 5th, today is the 6th. Okay, now be good on your diet today, Ron. Make up for that. Yeah. Now... In all likelihood, in days gone by, I've had, you know, way more than that. I mean, a Christmas cake is really, really fat, and, you, and there were times that I really scarfed that down. So, anyway, let's get on here. Um, okay, we got, the, we got this piece down. We are done with 16. We are now officially on 17. And that's putting these little pieces down, which are over there. I think what I should do here is put these pieces on in order of which is the most fragile. In other words, we'll put the most fragile one on last. And uh, I, I would think that probably the most fragile one is this one right here. And it mounts... Where does it mount? Oh! I have made a mistake here. I had hoped to put an LED right there, remember? I just noticed this now. It's funny I didn't notice that when I was drilling the holes through. So that means if we want to have another LED somewhere, you know what? I guess we are not going to have an extra LED there. 
Uh, yeah, I guess we will not have that extra LED illuminating the, the, the floor underneath there, which you can sort of see when you look in like that. Okay, well, uh, that, that's too bad. It's funny, I didn't notice that when I was uh, drilling the hole out. I, I guess I drilled it from the other side, and uh, I, I just wasn't paying attention. Anyway, we'll put this piece on last. So let's put it up somewhere, up somewhere out here where we're not going to break it, maybe. Um, I think that this piece here is going to be the strongest piece, and it has to be positioned so that the torpedo will go down at an angle like this. Okay, let's let's just sort of recompose here and quickly glue that in place. That that should be fairly simple, actually. Um, yeah, let's let's get it done. No use talking about it because, uh, as they say, talk is cheap, and it doesn't get the model built. Okay, let's get ourselves over here. Recompose a little bit and look in a little closer what what I'm doing. Um, Yeah, I, I don't think we need to, I think it can be just glued just like that, just let the uh, extra thin meld, meld this, uh, let's move in closer. Now I had said that I was just going to, you know, glue where these, those flanges were mounted, but you know what, I think that maybe it might be a good idea to put a little bit of glue just right under the leading edge there. What would be the best way to do it? Maybe the best way would be to put it on here. And I'm going to use the, uh, the thick stuff. I don't know where the contacts are going to be, so... And I don't want it to ooze out too much all over the black paint either, because now I'm going to have to be doing some repainting. There's no no question about it. Okay, that should no use going back too far because the uh, there will be nothing there. It sort of hangs over the end, doesn't it? No. Let's not smear that all over the place. I'm sure that it, I realize that not all of it is going to be on there. Now don't press down so hard you're going to bust something. Okay, now I'll use the uh, the uh, extra thin here just to go in right here. I suppose it might have been better if I had been able to have this laying on its back here. I'll, I'll push it in tight later. I'm just doing the other side the same way. Okay. Now, I'll just push this back. There we go. Sort of popped into place there. I don't know if you saw that. I don't think we need to fasten anything around this. Uh, maybe just over here. Yeah. Just leave that for a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, we'll give it a few minutes, and uh, what would be the next least fragile part? Maybe this one? It will go in there, won't it? Or have I screwed up somewhere else now with my light bulbs? <laughs> yeah, you know what? We we do have a couple right, that have to go one here and one here, and is it going to be in the... Uh, am I going to be able to get them in afterwards, after this goes down? Oh my goodness, uh... <laughs> well, I, I know that I know that these two are gonna go. 
Okay, I think it's probably safe to cut this rubber band out of here now. In fact, I'm, I'm quite sure it is. Uh, no, because I don't want it to... When it snaps off, that it will go in behind out of sight where I can't get it, so... Well, I guess it wouldn't, would it? Well, I guess it could have, yeah. It could have gone in behind, but... Uh, okay. Yeah, it's still pretty strong. Uh, let's not knock our weight up. I wonder if we need that anymore. It's been on for about 10 minutes or more. Um, yeah, let's just take it off. And that way I don't, it doesn't fall over and bust something fragile. It's kind of heavy. Now, we were worried about the LEDs being in the wrong place. Well, I was trying to put this on this side. It, it doesn't go there. It actually just goes right here. You can sort of see the little holes that it has to mount in there. So, just for the fun of it, let's, uh, let's put a couple of LEDs in here. And uh, we won't push them down too hard. Hey, why is this one not going down? Did I? Well, you know what? I don't think I reamed these ones out. I did these ones, but I did not do I did not do these ones. Uh, okay, uh, now that's going to be a bit of a problem because I can't <clears throat> I can't shove the reamer down all the way as far as I need it. So, oh my, oh my, oh my. Um, okay, I'm glad I noticed that now before I glued our little air tank on there. Just let me push it up here and think about this. I wonder if I could just sort of hold it by hand here and kind of ream it like this. I don't want to make it too big because if I do, then the LED is going to fall right through. And I had just wanted a pressure fit, if you remember. Okay, let's try that. Mm, a little bit more, maybe. Uh, you know what? What time have we got here? 12.30. Uh, and th this video has gone on and on and on, hasn't it? I think maybe uh, it's a time to call it quits here. Uh, <laughs> let me push stop and think about that. Now I had thought about my pin vise when I was holding that drill bit in my fingers. But I thought that the pin vise wouldn't go that large, but it does. And. Uh, Just make sure I'm not gonna go too far down. Um, you know, I've got a little plastic thing that goes on the end of that that's sort of like a collet. Uh, what if I could, should maybe be using that? You know what, I'm gonna call it quits for today, folks. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>